was uh, thinking of uh, whether you could describe, uh, <coughs> you know, from a pedagogical or educational point of view, a kind of a historical uh, way of presenting this, some of this material, uh, demonstrating if it's true that uh, we are where we are largely uh, for historical reasons and technological development uh, reasons and, and for those same technological changes and historical changes, we can just as readily uh, be back in plant-based food supply. Um, you know, you can imagine a early man concluding that rather than gathering plants and bury berries all day long, he domesticates an animal and the animal does it for him. It's a much more efficient way for him to get uh, food. Uh, step one, uh, but then, you know, fast forward 10,000 years later, and we have massive machines that can uh, harvest plants much more efficiently, as efficiently as his animals did, and uh, so there's no reason to have the animal. So you have sort of a historical, you know, we're, we're here eating these damn animals uh, for historical reasons, not really because we're all Texans and just love the smell of them. Uh, Meat. Yeah, no, they're right. I'm not doing exactly that, but um, I'm doing uh, tangential type studies right now in the second book. Most of what I'm doing, and you're right, I think that would be it'd be uh, very interesting to propose that, follow it along, bring it, you know, maybe maybe uh, research and document uh, and theorize at the same time uh, our history, our evolution of uh, of food producing systems. And what, and what we could have done then, how we got to where we are now. But I'm, I'm doing it more in terms of civilizations. Which civilizations uh, have perished and why, and how they, uh, even the Mayans. You know, you've, see, you've seen the latest NASA studies with the Mayans, I'm sure, where, uh, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've seen very clearly where they've exceeded their, you know, they exceeded their uh, support systems, their natural support systems. But, so anyway, I'm, I'm looking at that. Uh, right now and, and writing a bit about it, but it, is, it would be a very interesting study. I think, you know, what, what I'm trying to impress is that, yeah, we, we have seven billion people as of, actually, it's, it's, uh, I'm a little ahead of that, it's as of October 30, maybe November 1st, we'll have seven billion people in the world, but um, it, it really isn't. Uh, I mean, that's a problem, but it really isn't. It's how we're, that's not the problem. It's, how, it's what we're doing with our resources. And so I want to impress on everybody that it's, um, we now know, uh, it's not my opinion, we now know how to most efficiently use resources. And at the same time, what the most uh, healthy possible food can be. So we're hitting it from a lot of different angles. It's not just a cultural thing. And I understand what you know, these two people are talking about. They have culturally ingrained in them uh, that you know, polyphase farms is the way that we need to go. And, and you know, he has a very, he meaning Mr. Salton, has a very you know, powerful uh, marketing approach to it. But you know, that, <laughs> it's not, if you look at it, anything other than marketing or promotion, you, know, you look at it from a strict academic standpoint, uh, it's, it's impossible for the world to, to, to place that type for a number of reasons. Uh, we, can't even support, you know, uh, we can't even support that type of uh, lifestyle from an economic standpoint, from a health insurance standpoint, from a health standpoint. We'd still have, we'd still have all those diseases we're talking about. Uh, but more importantly, what I'm talking about is um, that I think trumps all that, is that we're just we're running out of water, we're running out of land. And if you just, you know, if you could just go along with me and walk along with me to any of these grass-fed operations other than polyphase farms, all the hundreds across in the world that I've been to, you'd see all of them are saying the same thing. You look at, all, you look at exactly how they're producing their food, and it's exactly the same thing everywhere. And if you walked away and saw what they could use their land for, for plant-based systems, it's, it's astounding what we could, what we could, what we could produce.